Hi viewers, welcome back. If you have a database, a large one of students or teachers or health medicines or any other, or you have a company where you are selling products and you have a dashboard also where you want to show top three or bottom three items or students or teachers are performing activities, etc. So in the dashboard to formula to use that and that in whenever there are some entries in the database, so that will automatically update. So now for that we have a formula that is called filter small bracket select the table now it asked me this was array the table now it asked me include on which column you want these top three and top uh, bottom three on this points column select that one then comma now it asks you if empty if there is no one in this table so what i should say so obviously i am i would have something in the table that's why i'm using it now here after this i will use the criteria top three so for top three we use a simple formula which is large so for large you have to say here after this range without any commas etc greater than or equal to large small bracket because you are not specifying any number just one top three and bottom three so you will use large and here now when uh, greater than are equal to large and which cell it should identify the large and the small one this one again you have to range those points table how many numbers top you want top three top four top five whatever number you want type that i want top three so i have type three small bracket close small bracket close enter here you see a d f this a d and f are the top three now if i want the bottom three so i will use the same formula this same formula but i will just add instead of large and instead of greater than i will say lesser than or equal to small i will use small for example here you see i want bottom three is equal to small bracket range the database comma what to include the points column you see first i selected the whole table then i selected that column only where the points are available after that i will give that criteria lesser than or equal to small in the above one i used greater than or equal to large now i will use lesser than or equal to small and after that i will start another bracket and i will again select that column where points are available so i selected that now after that comma uh, what bottom three what number of bottom three you want three two four so i want three bottom three and then small bracket close small bracket close and enter so here now you see the lowest three 92 129 and, and there were the top now if you want this in the descending order or ascending order so for that you have to use before this filter formula another formula which is sar and then close this formula in the bracket just add this sort and at the end comma and two two means ascending click so now you see these are in the ascending under 80 92 129 this was simple because here you see you have two columns only so you can obtain top three and bottom three easily with just this filter formula you just apply and both of these columns are given to what if you have multiple columns in the database and the points column is these two columns are not adjacent here they are adjacent so it's easy for this formula to pick both of them now if your first column is here and the next column that you want is here and there are some more columns in between so in this formula there is a problem that you can only range the whole table you cannot range only this column and this points column so for that we have a trick that's very interesting as equal to filter the same formula i'm using array array is my this table complete one comma 
what to include this point column i am analyzing this point column then what i should use i need the top 3 so the same formula greater than or equal to large small bracket large in which column in these points column then how many you want in the top i want top 3 so i will type top 3 then small bracket close and another small bracket close now you see here with that formula i have got all these columns now if i just want only this column and this column so i will use a trick here in this formula and that trick is here in the start i will use another filter formula then small bracket and then at the end here i will use a comma and then curly brackets i will use curly brackets curly brackets comes with the shift and square bracket one is equal to true and zero is equal to false now there are one two three four five six seven column and i want only this column and this column so i will use seven time one and zero when i use one so that column will be visible when i use zero so that column will not be visible so i will use one for the first column zero 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 one zero because i just want this column and this column and whichever column you want you just need to go in the sequence and use zero for those which you do not want to be visible and one for those which you want to be visible so here we have seven column i want this column and this so here i will use one then i do not want these four column so i will use four times zero 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 now i need this points column so i will use here after comma one and then after comma i will if i want to use this so i will use one otherwise i will use zero and then curly bracket close and the small bracket that i used here for this filter so that will also be closed and now you see you don't have all those other columns you have only the names columns and the points column so in this way you can skip those columns which you do not want and for that you have to use the filter formula you have to close this filter formula and another filter formula and use here only 1010 one for that to be visible and zero for that to be not visible and simply you can have this you can use this function in different ways for example you have a database here you have uh, whichever database it is now for example this one is about the employees and their department and position and salary now here i have a dashboard here i want to show only the name the position of the person and his salary according to a criteria so i have for example here i have used drop down that in this dashboard you can search for different type of criteria so here in the drop down i have different numbers and here i want i want to show here only those people whose salary is above 180 so for that also you have to use the same formula but and that trick also but here i want to show you because there is a criteria also and that criteria should be written here now here what i will do i will use first filter small bracket range the whole table then small bracket it says what to include so i am go i am doing this analysis on salary column so i will use salary column here now after that after this salary use a condition and that is to be greater than or equal to 180 so i will use here greater than or equal to this i will range this so now it will filter all this table according to this criteria and after that i will and it, then it asks if empty if there is no one according to this salary range so after comma you just say no results close this in the quotes no results and then small bracket close now here you see the people whose salary is above 180 but here i have all these columns the date of birth column also date column also and i have all the, so i want to filter it to only this one and the position and the salary i need here name position and salary so i will use the same trick here in the start 
I will type filter small bracket and at the end after comma I will use curly brackets and here now name position salary I have one two three four five column I want this one then this one I do not want this one I do not want this one and this one so one zero zero one one I will use one zero zero one one and then curly bracket close small bracket close and enter so now you can see only those three columns now here if I change this so now here if I use it 120 1 lakh 20 so you see my criteria is changing according to that so in this way also you can use this if you visit my channel and the link of the channel is simple youtube.com slash learning and entertainment I have given in the description also so here on this channel I have organized all these sessions very carefully you will see these playlists uh, if you want to learn Microsoft Excel PowerPoint Access MS Word and Mail Merge then other tricks of the Microsoft Excel and other softwares other learning tips how to prepare yourself for interviews these other playlist of learning online data collection Kobo MS form Google form for collecting online data data analytics project management series is there is a playlist for MS Excel beginners also windows and all these playlists single playlists are also available so you can uh, benefit from all these sessions which are free of cost and you just open it and watch them and learn and improve your productivity. There are these uh, beautifully designed uh, PowerPoint presentations how to make these PowerPoint presentation and every video has a detailed step by step tutorial. So visit my channel subscribe like and share and comment comment is very important for me because if you comment a video so I can improve these videos more whatever question you have so you can ask and uh, this will be good for the channel also and uh, learn and improve your productivity thank you If you like the video so kindly click the like button share it and subscribe the channel dear viewers we have started this youtube channel there are free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn microsoft excel microsoft access powerpoint ms word other learning tips so we have detailed playlist and there are hundreds of tutorials on microsoft excel uh, microsoft powerpoint how to design presentation microsoft access how to develop databases and manage data online data collection learning google form kobo ms forms if you visit this channel you can find lots of video tutorial kindly support us visit the channel for example in ms excel you will find these sessions in a proper sequence for example in ms excel playlist we have this basic session and then session two three four so if you start learning these sessions so from the start you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on microsoft basics data analysis conditional format pivot tables use of if uh, concatenate formulas dependent drop down list validation name managers v lookup x lookup function f function uh, advanced use of count f in some ifs how to find duplicates tricks and tips related to microsoft excel how to develop search boxes searchable drop down list aggregate functions tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted for example school going and other such studies there are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts attractive charts speedometers uh, dashboards in microsoft excel similarly in powerpoint also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in powerpoint how to do in ms access also you will find all these session and prop sequence uh, the access tutorials playlist here are almost eight sessions uh, in session one you will find the basics how to create tables queries forms and then you will go on with advanced options in microsoft access similarly you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data google form uh, kobo uh, ms form 
you will find also the use of ms word the mail merge functions there are session on spss also so you can learn spss if you need to do some analysis in spss there is a series on project management also how to conduct need assessment studies kindly support us visit the channel watch learn and improve your productivity thank you so much